For this question, we want to solve the exponential equation. And our equation is 1.41 to the x equals square root of 2 to the 1 minus 3x. Now we just discussed some different methods for solving exponential equations. One of them involved relating the bases, making the bases the same. And although these bases are very similar to each other, if you were to type in your calculator square root of 2, you would get approximately 1.41. And because it is approximately and not exactly equal, we cannot use that relating the bases. The relating the bases requires you to have exactly the same base, not approximately the same base. So I'm going to use the method of taking the log of both sides to solve this exponential equation. I'll take the natural log on the left. I'll do the same thing to stay balanced on the right. Now that I've introduced the logs, I'm allowed to use the power rule for logarithms, which takes this power and makes it the coefficient on the log. And I'll do the same thing on the right hand side. Using the power rule, it allows you to make the coefficient, excuse me, make the power the coefficient on the log. That would give me x natural log of 1.41 equals 1 minus 3x natural log square root 2. On the right hand side, I'm going to use the distributive property and distribute this natural log square root of 2 to both terms inside the parentheses. This gives me x natural log of 1.41 equals natural log square root 2 minus 3x natural log square root 2. Now that I've gotten rid of the parentheses, I want to collect the terms with x to one side of the equation. I have an x in this term, and I have an x in this term. I want to group them to the same side. I'm going to move to the left-hand side. I have one term that doesn't have x. I'm going to leave it on the right, and once I move that other term with x, it will be isolated on one side of the equation. So reorganizing these terms, I will have x natural log of 1.41, and uh, I'm going to move that minus 3x natural log square root of 2 by doing the opposite sign to move that to the other side. And that leaves natural log square root 2 isolated on one side of the equation. Now that I've grouped all of the x terms to the same side, I can factor out the x, leaving me with natural log of 1.41 plus 3 natural log square root 2 equals natural log square root 2. Now I can isolate x by dividing by the parentheses. Parenthesis is multiplied, so we're dividing to do the opposite operation. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side to keep our equation balanced. That's natural log of 1.41 plus 3 natural log square root 2. These parentheses cancel on the left, leaving me with x, and on the right, I'll copy down what I have, and this will be the solution. Natural log square root 2 divided by natural log of 1.41 plus 3 natural log square root 2. 
we may need to give an approximation. So let's use our calculator to get that approximation. So in the numerator, natural log square root two is the only term. So I don't need parentheses around the numerator. Natural log square root two. However, in the denominator, I have more than one term, so I need to put parentheses around the denominator. It's natural log of 1.1, 1 .1, that should be a 4, 1, plus 3 natural log square root 2. I don't need that parenthesis there. Let me get rid of that. But I do need the parenthesis on the log, and I do need to close the parenthesis for the whole denominator. And this gives us the approximation of 0.25, and let's round that to three decimal places, 0.251. <laughs> So we have the solution to our exponential equation being 0.251. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.